awesome saucers welcome again to another day with Kai farm some of the crucial products you can get from doing beekeeping is basically you can get honey you can get the beeswax and then there's a next thing called pollen so you can actually collect the pollen from the hives but you need specialized equipment to really or gadgets to really do it um, there are a variety of gadgets out there in the market that we can utilize to do it and that's one of the crucial things we want to focus on in this video today all right how do we collect pollen so this is one of the products that are out there that you can use to collect pollen um, it's referred to as a pollen trap and it's basically a device that you put it either at the entrance well this specific one will go at the entrance and it has this form of cage or entrance that has small holes that once the bees go the bees can pass through it however the little pollen puffs that are on their legs will sometimes be pulled off because only the bees can go through it it has it has that specification or that size that only allow the bees um, to go through right and then once they pass through this and the pollen sack falls off it falls through this little grid at the bottom section here and then drop into this little basket at the bottom that's going to be attached like this yeah so that's how pretty much the pollen traps work it the main and key thing about it is that it creates a form of entrance that will scrape the pollen puffs off the bees and as I said this is just one form they have many other forms online that you can check out you have some that are integrated into the bottom board um, that you might use on your hives you have another version that's a yellow and brown version um, those are kind of the ones I've seen in the market um, the reason why I went with this one is it's it's a trial um, but it looked like heavy duty plastic and it is very it is a very hardy plastic to be honest so kind of pleased with the quality of the plastic itself um, so that's one of the reasons I went with it um, did never used a pollen trap before this is the first time I'm going to try it I basically got three of them to use on my on a few other hives in the apiary all right so now some of the specifications of this is that it is 12 inches long or if you want to consider it wide so it's 12 inches this um horizontally um if you're looking at it from here how you would attach this specific trap your hive the entrance of your hive would need to sit flush with this trap all right so that's one of the downfalls of this trap i didn't know based on the pictures i saw online uh, when i was getting it how it would work out so um, based on this I'm gonna need to make adjustments to my specific bottom boards what I have here is one of my bottom boards attached to a shallow box the bottom boards are basically 16 and a quarter wide as well as the box um, 16 and a quarter and they line up perfectly um, at the ends yes if I try to put this let's just take this out on if you realize there's going to be a gap not only a gap here that the bees can pass through on the opposite side because this is 16 and a quarter um, the space is there about little over 14 inches and this is 12 so there's going to be a gap that the bees can pass through not only that but there's going to be a space underneath it because my bottom board is designed to be one inch longer than the actual box so the box itself is 20 20 inches or if you want to be specific 19 and 7 8 inches um, long um, the bottom boards are actually 21 inches um, long all right so i needed to make some manipulations to my bottom board the options were either to cut it down to let it work or to make some form of template or attachment that i could attach this to to let it work perfectly so my bottom boards would have there there you go one inch in landing space for the bees yeah so i needed to fill that gap 
So that's where these scraps came in. I needed to make this, the attachment um, one inches thick. So that's why I took the scraps from my 5.8 ply and my, um, I believe this is a quarter inch ply and attached it together and it pretty much, once I cut it out so it fits nice and snug. So there you go, I basically just cut a groove so it fits on the edge here and then it closed up the gap. So that means this little space that you're now seeing is the 12 inch space that this snow trap can align itself with. Let's see if I can show you that nice and easy. So the gap, the, and there's no space here for the bees to pass through. There you go, it's pretty much sealed. And um, there's no space at the bottom of the trap. There's no space on this side either. So we have marked out the spots where the screws should go um, for convenience of when we're doing this video. All right, so once we have attached the trap to the template, this is what it looks like um, on the template, yes? Now we need a way for us to actually attach it to the box so it doesn't fall over. So what we used was just some pieces of corrugated plastic that we had lying around as a little L L joint right and we're just gonna screw here and then we screw um, through the hive body and attach here so it have, it's affixed um, sturdily on the actual hive itself now there's a few little deficiencies I observed um, from videos I've watched about this specific trap um, specifically um, from Butts Bees um, that Susan um, she had basically got some of these traps as well and I saw where she had some troubles with them. Um, one that I observed so far is that the space at the top here, this top section tends to be a little bit warped um, and I believe that the bees can actually force their way through the space at the top here. So what I've done or what I'm going to do for that specific issue is that I'm going to press this down and I'm going to put a screw so that means this top is sitting firmly with this actual um, cage here yes so that's what i'm going to do just add this bit and then you'll see how it looks so i don't know if you can see the gap there kind of closed out um, it seemed a little bit wide on this side but i believe it should be all right so we'll leave that now one more thing that we observed from susan's video is that when the tr the tray or the basket here that collects the pollen is attached it has some space here and the bees might be encouraged to force their way inside the, the, tr the tray and once they go in there they might get trapped and die in there along with all the pollen we don't want that to happen so what we did to prevent that is to add a piece more corrugated plastic which just fits nice and snug and fills in all of that space so let's show you how it looks now so there you go so it would block off all the potential entrances they won't be able to enter from the back because it's properly sealed um, we only need to worry about the front here so once we have that in then we just use some piece of um, tape and just get it on nicely so as you say the the tray can come off and go back on easily without any issue so ideally it will this trap will basically sit on the hive like this for the first initial time of putting it on i won't close down the the, the door um pretty much of the trap i'll leave it open so they'll have the space to go in and out of the hive and get um, oriented to this actual entrance um, so that's what I'm gonna basically do. Just put them on, leave the trap open, um, the door open, take off the cages and just keep them inside. And then now one early morning, um, sunny early morning um, at that, because I don't want to put it, I don't want to put it on when any rain or anything is gonna fall. Um, so we'll put it on a, on a sunny day and just leave it on for probably the first half of the day, and then just take off the tray and collect what we we get from them so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to one of the specific hives with you and attach it and then just 
show you how they're looking pretty much all right so let's go all right so one of the hives that we'll be attaching it to is hive number 11 um, one of the reasons that we're kind of choosing this hive it is a single chamber hive um, so I think it would be best to put on a pollen trap on it to gather any of the excessive pollen the bees might be bringing in and that will help me to control any form of extreme pollen collection that may cause the hive to become pollen bound and it, it's possible guys because the, the thing about pollen is that it doesn't encourage the bees to actually build comb so once they are bringing in pollen all the bees will be doing is just filling in the the closest and the easiest accessible um, cell that's available to them to store that pollen and the cell that they usually put the pollen in is the worker size cell so with the queen space being reduced you know with all those pollen being packed in that will cause the hive and the queen to become um, bounded by the pollen yeah that's what pollen bound means so this is an effective way to kind of help with that and I'm basically benefiting from this um, venture where I can get some pollen all right we don't know what, how much pollen we can collect from them we don't want to collect too much pollen from them because pollen is something that really drives the growth of the colony so we're not we don't want to take a lot you know so if we're really going to be collecting pollen these traps will be closed off probably for half a day and then give them the next day for them to do to get the rest of the pollen for themselves yeah so that's usually the the frame of mind i have right now for it so let's see if i can give you a nice little preview so i'm gonna smoke them down a little bit um i don't need to put this on right away uh, let's put this up and leave it open so we're not causing a congestion at the entrance um the good thing of how this trap works is that i can just slide it down and basically there you go and it, basically that's how it is you know it just fits snug here so the only thing i need to do now is just come in and attach the, the two leverage sections so we're done with one side just gonna do the next and there you go um, completely attached and as I said um, we want to leave the gate open um, so that they get re um, reorientated to this specific entrance all right so this is how it looks on the hive yes there you go they're able to pass through that entrance down here you don't see you're seeing where this is pretty much closed off at the bottom section and then when the tray goes in all of this area will be blocked off so they have no way to access the hive other than through here this little gadget at the side here it has a little lever that allows it to stay up um, i think most of the others you have to use something to kind of um, keep this up you know but that, so this is a nice design for this specific trap so what we're testing now is if it is going to work effectively with my bees yes will they be able to um will their gate be able to work effectively with the bees that i have um and how much pollen we'll get from them so we'll put on one on hive number three as well because it's a single with a queen excluder and a deep as a shallow above it and then our next hive that way utilizing this on is i believe this is hive 13 if my memory served me right all right guys so what we're gonna basically show you is the traps when the actual gate is down and the basket is below it yeah so this is one of the hives as you can see they're they're searching for places to enter there's a lot of pollen basket bees around here they're, they're reluctant to go through the little entrance um, we have some just waiting out here patiently for the gate to open while some are really trying very hard to get inside yeah but they, they definitely can go through the, the holes 
I'm seeing where bees are actually going through it. I would want to take off the basket to check how much pollen is in there right now. I put it on 7.30. It's now 10.30. So that's basically three hours. I'm trying to see if I can spot a forager, a pollen forager with a basket on her leg trying to go through it. But I'm not seeing most of them. It's most of the nectar one, nectaring ones. I'm gonna pull off the basket for now and see what happens if in terms of how much pollen is in there. So I need to pull this up but slide the lever that's here to actually have the basket the gate open. Let's see what's happening in the basket section. The good thing is no bees got in. I don't know if you can see inside of this. So that's all the pollen they have collected so far. In the space of three hours, right? So we put it on early in the morning. So it works guys, in, in terms of it getting decent amount of pollen. As I said, these bees you're seeing in there now, they're literally dropping in there now. Um, because they're hanging all over it trying to find entrances, an entrance into the hive. So I'm going to leave it open now and just take this away. And then now we're going to check out this one right here. And it's the same thing. A lot of bearding taking place. They're trying to find an entrance in. Yeah. If you can see, spot that little bee there. I'm um, trying to force her way in. And she got in and it scraped off the pollen sack off of her legs. So there you go. That's what they've collected three hours time. Look at that one. See? That bee trying to go through. Yeah? She's trying to go through, but it's really tough for them to pass through it. And once she pass through, the baskets on her legs will basically um, come off. I feel like this, this hive though might have been finding a way in. Because I didn't see a lot of crowding around the hive like the others. So I'm wondering if they were finding some way in. Alright, so they're about they all collected to me it seems about the same there you go this is inside the pollen traps right now that's basically three hours work of them collecting of the trap working in terms of collecting some pollen I don't know if there's a possibility for it to be more um, effective than this um, one I don't know if there is a, a extremely high pollen flow going on right now so I don't know really how much I should be expecting um, for, for a three hours on, on basically. So can't really give you that advice whether it's go it should be more or it should be less, you know. But the good thing is that from the three, I'm seeing where it collected some pollen. So it is working, but I don't know if it should be more effective than this so i'm going to be enjoying some pollen this afternoon so a big thumbs up for the little pollen traps all right so what we'll have to do now is collect data in terms of when i whenever i put it on i need to ensure that i'm recording how long i put it on for and how much i get out of the basket based on the amount of time that i put it on for so those are kind of the records i'll need to um, start collecting to know how effective it is and so forth all right so as usual thanks for tuning in your time was greatly appreciated we just want to implore you to give the video a like share with your friends and definitely hit that subscription and notification bell so you can see when new videos come out and peace out <laughs>